making me. Today we're going to make vegan potato salad from Skinny Bitch in the Kitchen. And actually the whole book is available online. And this potato salad uses vegan mayonnaise, which is different than the other potato salad on my channel that uses avocado from Forks Over Knives. So feel free to use whichever one. The good thing about this one using vegan mayo is that it will last a few days where the avocado one starts to turn brown if you don't eat it all on the first day. So I took 14 new potatoes, peeled them, cubed them, and then boiled them. And the boiling time varies, so just about 10 to 15 minutes. You don't want them too mushy that it turns into mashed potatoes, but you definitely don't want them hard. So make sure they're fork tender. And this is what they look like when they're done. Okay, so you want them to really cool off. You can let them just sit in this bowl, maybe stick them in the refrigerator. And then we're gonna make our dressing which we're gonna start by, let me grab my vegan mayonnaise. You can use either a third or a fourth of a cup with vegan mayo. I'm gonna start on the lighter side and just do a third and I'm using this brand by Best Foods. There are so many brands now of vegan mayo. It's great, okay. And I'm actually not a huge vegan, I'm not a mayonnaise person in general, but for this recipe, it's the best. So I highly recommend using it unless you want to use the avocado instead. Okay, then we're going to add a fourth of a cup of pickle relish. And this is sweet pickle relish from Trader Joe's. And it doesn't have any corn syrup in it. It's organic sweet pickle relish. So it's a little better for us, all right? So we got the mayonnaise, sweet pickle relish. Now we're going to add a teaspoon of either rice wine vinegar or white wine vinegar, whatever is your favorite. This is just what I have, so that's what I'm gonna use. We'll use a teaspoon of that. And then we add in our celery and green onions to give it a little crunch and, excuse me, more flavor, all right? So celery is high in fiber. It's good to help scrub your colon clean, Plant-based foods are high in fiber. Animal products don't have any fiber. So you want to really focus on how much fiber you're getting in your diet. And don't worry about the protein. You will be fine. All plant-based foods have protein. Okay, you can chop them as small or big as you want. We're just going to cut that in half. This is actually my favorite part of the whole salad. I'm going to throw those in with the potatoes, okay? And then we're going to add two scallions. If you like green onions, you could use white onions, purple onions, whatever you like better, or no one, onions. And this recipe also calls for two tablespoons of dill. So if you are a dill fan, are you a dill fan, Tracy? <clears throat> no. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm not either. <laughs> People love it's like a cilantro thing. I think you either love it or you don't. But um, I am not a fan either, so I omit it. But it's up to you. If you love dill, add two tablespoons of fresh dill. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna add this to the potatoes as well. Okay. Now we're gonna whisk together our dressing, and you can add in a little salt and pepper too, if you'd like. I'm just gonna add a dash of pepper. You don't wanna overdo the pepper. And some salt. And we're almost done, so it's very easy. The part that takes the longest is prepping the potatoes. Okay. So once you add your vinegar, then it will help dilute the mayonnaise, so maybe you don't need as much. Because the mayonnaise is high in fat and, and high in oil, so it's not like you want to eat it by the tablespoon. But I think I actually might have to add a little bit more. Let's give it a shot and see how we do here. So we've got our bowl with our potatoes and celery and green onions, and we're going to add our sauce, our dressing. So this is a great dish for summer picnics, the 4th of July. Or just for fun in the winter. Okay. Oh, I think this is going to be good. So it's up to you how, how creamy. I like it not as super rich and creamy. Mm. Okay, good. 
to my camera camera woman friend <laughs> Tracy gives it a thumbs up. All right, so here it is. Skinny bitch in the kitchen. Yummy, delicious potato salad. And I want to show you a couple of things. If you are planning a 4th of July meal, there's a couple easy things you could add that you don't have to cook would be Bush's vegetarian baked beans. And you can also get Trader Joe's, Joe's, excuse me, vegetarian baked beans. And then we have Dr. Prager's California veggie burgers, which are awesome, also from Trader Joe's. But if you don't mind cooking, I have two veggie burger recipes on my channel. One is butternut squash and Granny Smith apples. It's amazing. And the other one is beet burgers, and it's also amazing. And then the fourth thing you could add are the deviled eggs that are also on my channel. The deviled eggs from Forks Over Knives, those are fantastic and a great addition to a picnic or a 4th of July menu. So I hope you enjoy your holidays. Happy summer, and thanks always for saving animals with your food choices.